Hi, it's Mark from MicrosoftAccessExpert.com, and today I'm going to give you a tour of our time card database. Uh, this is a very handy little database. It is somewhat full featured, so you may decide that this is uh, suitable to do everything you need in terms of time tracking, but if it isn't, when you purchase it, you do get the source code, which means you're able to modify anything in the database. It does require some knowledge of Microsoft Access database development in order to be able to do that. Uh, so if you don't have that knowledge, perhaps you know someone uh, who does or have someone in your organization who does, and they'll be able to do it then for you. Um, if you don't, uh, that is one of the other ways we make money because we sell these templates at a fairly reasonable price. And so you would be able to contact us and tell us what you want changed in the database and the folks here at Winning Solutions will get back to you with a price for that and then you can decide if you want to move forward or not. So the licensing is quite liberal on this. You are, uh, once you purchase the template, you can use it in your organization. So whether you have uh, one office or 10 offices, whether you have a couple employees or a couple thousand employees, um, it does not matter. You're able to uh, use the database uh, uh, once you purchase it and then if you even if you want to create a derivative work and make a make a different uh, database out of this and sell it to other people we have a license for that as well uh, this database is designed to be incorporated into an existing access database so if you kind of just want to merge this capability into a database you already have you can do that um, or you could build in uh, a much more complex database around it so uh, if you're looking for a web version or a mobile app version uh, uh, this really isn't quite designed specifically for that, but we could make one for you that, that is. Um, this is designed for folks who are into Microsoft Access, and uh, there are a lot of people who have experience uh, developing databases in that, so it's kind of targeted at those people. So without any further ado, let's, let's get into our database here. So let's start with the uh, maintain companies. So in the maintain companies, as the name implies here, you can just uh, edit these. So you can just say uh, Acme Company or whatever you want. And then uh, that would edit a company that's in the list. Um, or you can add a new company by going to this field. Uh, if you go to your maintain employees list, you can certainly do that. So you can just change things up here. Uh, and, uh, and then basically you can then change their last name. And then when that's all set and you want to put in more employees, you can do that down here in this field. And when that's done, you just hit close. All right. Then uh, the next thing you can do is, uh, of course, you uh, may want to have special uh, certain projects that you're keeping track of. So you can uh, put in a, a project name here like uh, lawn seating. And then you can enter a company that that's for. And we'll say it's for the Acme company. And we'll hit close. All right. And so now we've kind of got all the basics in there. And so the most important thing you probably want to do is enter time. So you can go to this nice form right here. Pick the employee you want to enter time for. Pick the project they're working on. We've got a nice handy little date picker here to pick the date and you can enter how many hours they worked and if there if there were notes you can enter enter all the notes that you'd like and then when you're done you just hit save and close and then uh, there are reports of course and so uh, you can get hours by employee uh, hours by employee summary <laughs> hours by project, hours by project summary, so a number of different reports. So I'll let you uh, check those out on your own. Uh, you can uh, filter by just a specific employee or project, date range, uh, even look for something in the notes, so all very handy. And uh, if need be, there is the ability to export to Excel, uh, which might come in handy for certain uh, situations, especially if you are needing to uh, import this information into another piece of software to, say, do payroll. So with that, let me uh, close the screen. We'll be back at the main menu. Um, if you have questions about this, please contact us. If you're visiting us on our uh, YouTube uh, channel page, uh, there's a link to get to our website where you download the demo and can read more about this uh, template. 
as well as uh, see what the pricing is. Uh, if you're on our website, that information is below the uh, video uh, displayed on the page. Thanks so much for watching the video. We uh, hope this template is a good fit for you and have a great day.